One of the next settings that I want to go over is the LoRa settings because LoRa's are ways that you can really transform your images and add specific details which AI might find hard without using a LoRa. So if I was to generate a few images now of a Japanese 30 year old male with short dark hair smiling at the camera in casual clothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep most of the settings pretty standard here and I'm just going to generate some of these so we can see images that are generated without using a LoRa. Okay, great. So we have our four images of a Japanese male. You'll notice that we have the four images of the person smiling, but we don't have really anything which, you know, resembles different weights or different emotions based on this. So we can add that with a Laura and go into much more detail. So with what we already have if i select laura models from the top here i can then say okay let's now change one to use a weight slider so this is now going to change our character based on the value that we put in here so when you use a laura you'll see that it comes in these brackets and what is important is the number value that we have. So the number value is set as free. Let's hit generate and see what happens. So you'll see by having the LoRa weight slider set as free, we get rather overweight people within our generations. So instead of what we had without using the LoRa, where we got our Japanese man who looks fit and healthy and everything looks great. We now have by using a weight slider of three a rather obese Japanese person each time. So if I was to take the value which is free and change it to say minus two and hit generate again. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see our smiling Japanese man has got a lot skinnier and you'll see from where we didn't use a Laura and the person looks pretty healthy, pretty active, pretty uh, fit to going to when we have used it to with a value of three where they have become overweight, obese and not very healthy to then using a value of minus two, where you'd say that they are probably skinnier than usual, definitely skinnier than we had seen before. So this is just one example of a LoRa that we can use. If we open up the setting again, and we can use, say, a hair length slider, because this one can be quite fun to show as well. And I will just delete some of the, uh, extra commas that we had in there and we can just hit generate on this and see what happens i imagine that we're going to have long hair because the hair slider is very very long and you can see how the laura has affected this image because the hair slider is set as a high value which is eight you'll see that the image has created extra long hair hair down to sort of the belly button the short uh, definitely longer hair than most people have and definitely longer than the ai would produce on its own so this is something where a laura can really come into handy in producing such images if you want to know more details about a specific laura you can open a model in you can open the LoRa in the gallery and you're going to get specific information about it so here you'll see want your models to have bigger eyes you can do this with the slider using a value of eight will make big eyed images using a value of minus eight will make smaller images so one thing to keep in mind when using LoRa's women super machine there is generally a range of values going from a negative value to a positive value and each LoRa will work slightly differently so it's worth opening up this page for each individual LoRa that you are considering to use to understand how those values are 
within the generation. And if you want to then look through images that have been generated, you can simply click on them and you can see that what has been used. So you'll see that this one has got an eye size of eight and you'll see that his eyes are rather large. Whereas if we were to come down to a different image where we have this one as minus three, you can see that his eyes are smaller. So it's again about experimenting and trial and error and choosing different values to get the look exactly as, as you want it to be. And this is how a lot of AI image generation works. So if you want to use LoRa's within Super Machine, try them out, have fun and try out different values and you can see how they affect your images.